All right, real quick one for you guys, and just to prove that not everything can be fun diagnostics and, you know, cool random failures. Don't forget the day-to-day -day stuff, like customer complaint of the in-op fuel gauge. And that's all I have. Fuel gauge in-op. Not sometimes, not always, not, you know, only after I forget to fill it. Just doesn't work. I don't know if it sticks high, sticks low, doesn't react at all. I got nothing. But I do know, we'll call it about three quarters of a tank here. And bear with me here. Just because it's easy to do on this, to prove the point. We've got about three quarters of a tank of fuel in there. I know not everybody's lucky enough to be able to confirm it like that. Rarely am I, but it is what it is. So what do we do? Do we drain the tank? fill the tank do we go and take our seat and I pulled this up already to show you guys so this is the wire harness I pulled back a little bit for the ascending unit that runs all the way up underneath all this seat nonsense to somewhere right about in here so there's trim panels take off and other nonsense we got to do really don't want to do that if I don't have to so how can we confirm fuel gauge operation easily? Well, let's go to the easiest place we can get to it. Varies by vehicle, obviously. In this case, right at the back of the instrument panel. We're back probed there. On the wire. And we're at, we'll call it 0.65 volts. So, all these senders are, in this case, is just a variable, variable resistor. So you got your power, and depending on where the float level is, it hits a different resistance value, and the voltage increases or decreases. Cool. So what we're going to do here is we got our test light hooked up to ground. Test light works. And I don't know if I'll be able to get you guys fully in here to see this. But trust me when I tell you, I'm pulling the voltage down. I'm adding additional resistance there to pull down the voltage and yet no change. Well that's because these have a particular variable it's about a 15 second delay in uh, fuel level changes for bouncing around off-road that way your gauge isn't constantly going up down up down up down. So if we two ways we can either wait which we saw it just bounced up one Okay, we are capable of going up somewhat. Cool. So now what do we do? Do we drain fuel out of the tank? No. It's a waste of time. Don't want to do it. So we're going to go to power. There we are. We got light. We're going to do the same thing. So we're back to our 0.65 volts. And now, because we're adding power to it, 1.59... So we can sit here and wait, and wait, and wait. Or, we can turn our key off and on to reset. So now, we're pretty confident that the gauge is fully operational. I'd say just from the meter reading here that I'm pretty damn confident that we have circuit integrity all the way to the back there. And just to prove it, let me give a little. There we go. We had some bouncing around. Let's see if we can do that again for you. So I'll say we've got movement of the float there. So I'd say I'm pretty confident at this point that, unfortunately, we're going to call the customer, we're going to quote it to do a sending unit, or at least do the effort to get down to the sending unit, make sure there's not something else goofy going on. But I mean, that's quick, a couple minutes worth of tests, not real intrusive, no fancy tools, to confirm where we need to go and what we need to do next. I mean, no fancy meter, we got a regular old test light and knowing system slash circuit operation. So, and then we'll do that just to prove that, you know, key off, 
voltage drop down, key on, so it's not shorted to any of the switch powers or anything else in there. So I'm pretty confident that we're putting a sending unit in it. But just a real quick video to show you guys basic tools, basic concepts can take you a really long way. And that not every job is a super fun job where can high and low are shorted to each other and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. A lot of it's the monotony of the day to day. Oh yeah, and get the most information you can. So have a good one.